All right, here we have the 2021 Clipper. Uh, we'll start up front. You have your tongue jack to crank it up and down. You have your chains, your seven way and breakaway cable. The breakaway cable is just an emergency brake. Uh, you'll hook that next to your chains. You won't hook it on your chains. Uh, that's just in case for some reason it came off the ball and your chains failed. Uh, this little pin will pull out. Uh, and it'll lock up the brake so it's not going behind you. You have your 20 pound propane tank here. Uh, the only thing you have to do here is just turn the knob on. You have a brand new 12 volt battery. Uh, moving down, you have cable hookups here. You have your storage compartment up here. Uh, and there's a little door hold back right here I just hold the door open uh, your dining tables right here that's a foldable table so you can have it outside as well you have stabilizer jacks on each corner so two in the front and two on the back uh, you'll want to get the unit level put tires on the block uh, first unhook from your truck and then uh, level it front to back with a front tongue jack uh, Then you'll crank these down until they hit the ground or if you have blocks underneath them Once they are touching uh, Give it another half to three quarters of a crank just to put a little pressure on it Because uh, you don't want to try and lift up the unit with the jacks. It'll bend them. They're only meant to take the shake out of the unit uh, Right here's your water heater and this is gas only. Uh, the switch for that is inside. Uh, the only thing you have to do is make sure your propane tank is on and then just flip the switch on and it'll light on its own. All right, next to the water heater is your water hookups. Uh, so the top one, this is your fresh water tank. Uh, that cap just unscrews and then you put your hose in there uh, and it'll fill up the tank. Uh, and the drain is right there and in the water heater there was a plug or a cap that went on to that end uh, to stop the water from coming out. Uh, so that's where you fill that tank and then you, on the bottom is a city water connection so that's if you're at a campground. I'll give you water directly to uh, your sink. Uh, then right here is where your power cord is stored. Uh, that just pulls out. Um, it's usually around 25 to 30 feet long. Uh, so it's plenty of length uh, for any campground. Uh, this is a 30 amp unit. Uh, so when you're at home, you can plug into an adapter to plug into your house or an extension cord. The only thing uh, when you're at home that you can't run is the air conditioner because it requires that 30 amp circuit. Uh, but you can run everything else, charge your battery, get your fridge cold. Uh, next to it is the exhaust for your furnace. Uh, just make sure nothing's in the way of that. Uh, and don't touch it while you're using it because it gets pretty hot. Uh, your antenna right there for the radio and uh, when you're traveling that will be down uh, to pull that down all you do is just grab it and pull it down uh, it's riding on shocks uh, so that's what holds it open uh, when it's closed you'll have these locks here uh, that'll go up to uh, those little brackets up there uh, that'll just lock it down uh, and to open it you just release those uh, in the back, you have a little grab handle. You just push up on it and twist it, and then that's open. Uh, this is like the main door because this has the steps on the door. The other door doesn't have steps. Um, so this is like a pop-up style door. Um, pop-up camper. So that opens. Uh, and then you can slide this off. Uh, put that door aside. Uh, under the bed is where the main big door is stored. Uh, and that'll just slide right in the same grooves. 
Uh, and then there's snaps up here that snap to it and Velcro uh, that way. Because with this door shut, there's still that big gap there. So that big door will cover that. Uh, you have outside speakers back here. Uh, there's a little hook here. If you have a dog, you can tie them to that. Uh, and then right here is hookup for TV. Uh, this is just for uh, connecting your TV to. The other one on uh, the driver's side is for putting cable to the whole system. Uh, you have some outlets right here. Uh, then here on the other side is your outside shower. Uh, and then this door right here is just some more storage. And this is access from the inside as well. Uh, this plug right here is a drain for the sink. That just unscrews. Uh, and you can put a bucket under there to collect your wastewater. Uh, or hook up a hose and you can get one of those blue uh, dolly tanks. Uh, to hold your wastewater in. Uh, that's just a bigger holding portable tank. Um, so that's a nice option too, so you don't have to have a bucket underneath. Uh, next to that, uh, this is just the back side of the fridge. It's where we service it. You'll never have to go back there. Uh, in front of the tire right here is a LP quick connect. So if you have a grill, uh, you can get a quick connect to connect to the grill. Uh, then the other door right here uh, gives you access right here and it's a bigger door so you can get some stuff inside through here uh, to store stuff in like uh, if you didn't want to climb up on the roof which that rack up there is actually made uh, to store kayaks and stuff uh, you can see the little grooves right there so that's pretty nice um, but you could also store some stuff through this door uh, since it's a wider door. Uh, and then right here, uh, this little plug uh, is for solar charging. So this is prep for solar charging. Uh, you can get a little tripod uh, with a solar panel on it and it'll just plug right in there if you're dry camping. Uh, it's just like a trickle charger for your battery so that way you'll be able to use your lights and your water pump. Uh, and your fridge on propane uh, and your battery won't die on you All right So now we'll go inside uh, So going through the back on the left uh, you got your radio here uh, It's also Bluetooth uh, so you can hook up your phone and play music uh, you have your thermostat right here. This is for your furnace only. And all you have to do is just move that and your furnace will kick on and you can control the temperature there. Um, when you're not using it and storing it, make sure you push it all the way to the left until it clicks. That means it's off. Uh, to the right, you have your fire extinguisher. Uh, you have some light switches here. Uh, so that one right there is for lights in the speaker all right uh, then you have your sink uh, and then here uh, this switch is for your water pump so you'll use that when you're using your portable uh, fresh water tank uh, this switch right here is for your water heater uh, so Turn your gas on, then flip that switch. Uh, once that light goes out, that means it's lit. Uh, and then you have a nice little charging center here with a 12 volt plug. Uh, you got your cooktop here. You'll need a grill lighter to light this. Uh, just turn it to light uh, and then light your lighter and then it'll light right up. Uh, you got some storage under the sink. Uh, and then your fridge. There's a little lock right here, twist that. Uh, and then you can open it. A uh, decent little fridge. Uh, your microwave. Uh, you got cable hook up here so you can have a TV inside. Uh, on this side you have a little uh, seating area. 
Uh, your furnace is right there. And then this is your converter, which has all your fuses and breakers in it. You have more storage under the bed. Uh, and you also have a grill that comes with this unit. So uh, there's a hose that will be with this. And that's what you will use for that quick connect out there. And then this crank is for the stabilizer jacks. Put that back. Uh, your air conditioner is above the bed. Uh, pretty simple. You got high, low uh, fan and high, low cool. Uh, and then you can change how cold you want it. Uh, you got more storage here. A little uh counter space there uh, some shelving there and then this light switch right here is for these lights above the bed and let's see oh, okay so this light switch right here next to the one that is for the outside speakers, you actually have floor lights, so one there and one there. All right. And then, let's see. Then I think that is everything. Um, so I hope you enjoy this unit. Um, and this is for the 2021 Clipper.